Grass-fed beef doesn't taste as good as grain-fed, buddy, you have not tasted this. So, this is some beef fat. This is trim fat, uh, not suet, which comes from the kidneys. But both can be of exceptional quality. Now, the important thing to note here is the difference between a grain-fed and a grass-fed animal is particularly in the fat and organ meats. That's why you don't really hear people talk about it that much. In the case of this fat today, this beef fat is, it's soft. It's like, I could probably wiggle this piece off. It's soft, it falls apart, it um, has a very like pleasant, nutty, almost like butterscotchy smell to it. This, this is the warm version. This is warmed up. This has been at room temperature for a little while. This is, what, this is the color that it is when it's, it's a little colder. It's not quite as orangey, but it's, the, the, the warmth brings out the color of it a little bit. Grass-fed beef fat, we mainly consume it for its omega-3 fatty acid content, its vitamin K2 content, and it does have some vitamin A as well because all high-quality animal foods have some form of vitamin A in the form of retinoic acid. My point is that you cannot take a piece of fat off of a grain-fed animal and squeeze it and, and the softness of it, and it's, it's desirable. They call it gristle on grain-fed animals. This is so delicious. It's like, it's pure fat with a slight hint of butterscotch. Now, by delicious, I mean, there's nothing that makes me want to spit this food out. Is it, is it good? It's okay. Um, it's not like, you know, I say like it tastes like butterscotch, it's good. It tastes like beef fat with the hint of butterscotch. It's good, it's delicious, it's edible. It's a very nutrient dense food. In the context of uh, a hunter gatherer who just killed an animal and opened up the animal, this is what would taste the best in its natural state. The tribes used to fight over this. They Swiss uh, Swiss that lived off of dairy cattle used to talk about the carotenoids in the grass giving the color, and they worshipped it. They would literally light candles with the fat and the butter from these animals. Um, other ways I eat this are, you know, you could throw it on the grill real quick, get a nice little crust on the outside. You could, uh, I don't put salt on it, I don't think it needs it. You could put a little bit of honey on it, that makes it taste like, pretty much, it's like you're eating honey, but it's beef fat. And then you're like, okay, Frank, where do I actually get this? Well, any local farmer during the spring, summer months, the cows will be on higher quality pasture, and even lower quality grass-fed beef fat is good, it's tasty. It might not be as tasty as this, but to me, it's not as big of a deal. You might just have to incorporate some more wild-caught fish for you omega-3s. And you know, in regards to pricing, I've seen, I've seen, I've been able to get this beef fat for as little as a dollar a pound, and I've seen people sell it for as much as six or seven dollars a pound. But it's never been prohibitively expensive. Uh, in the United States, it might be a little bit harder to find because I mean, I see like videos of slaughtering animals in like Australia and New Zealand, and those animals always have this type of fat on it. So. Uh, if you're looking for this, it's not going to be like go online and click it and order it. That's not what it is. I talk to a bunch of different farmers. I talk to a bunch of different butchers. I ask them what I could get, and even this is frozen. You know, you, this is a food that you probably will never get fresh. So, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to support me, I always tell people please just hey share the video. Let someone know uh, if you want to. Hey, tell them hey this guy's got crazy eyebrows. If they don't like carnivore diets, tell them hey. Look, if they're a farmer, hey, say, look at the difference between this fat and that fat. Hey, if you think uh, I'm crazy or whatever, just for whatever reason whatever, that you would share this video with that person, tell them that and share it to them, okay? Uh, outside of that, you know, I got a bunch of social media down there, a um, bunch of stuff. I mean, you can check out my Patreon, and, and there's a video on there that, talk, that talks about me, myself, and a little bit about my life. And then... Uh, just I, I think I have one thing linked right now. Just uh, sometimes I put down other podcasts and uh, other YouTube channels that I've been on. So again, thank you guys for watching, and please let me know if there's any questions. Uh, uh, try to keep the sourcing comments like I I've told you how already to get it. You know, like, and I can't tell you where I got this because I had a falling out with the. Um, they sold me some bad beef fat, and I'm not advertising for them anymore, and they didn't want to give me my money back. So what are you gonna do?